So Sada rolls in to Jackson's gym to do a test on John Jones. And there was only some coaches in there and John, there was like five people there at the time. So he can see them coming. Where they parked, he can see them coming. So they don't know what to do with him. They hide him underneath the cage. They hide, John Jones hides under the cage. They tell John, we don't know where he is. And this is before we were enrolled in the program. And he did not need to disclose his whereabouts. At the same time, if they show up and find you, you must test. Vandalay, the situation, you must test. They can't find you. You didn't have to test back then. So anyway, he hides under the ring. They say, well, where is he? He's supposed to, you know, this is his gym. They say, well, how would I know where he is? So instead of leaving like they thought they would do, they take a seat. Well, there's like eight hours left in the business day. They don't ever leave. However long with six or eight hour time frame, John's under the cage the entire time. So people are coming and going. The whole thing is finally they, they shut the lights off and go to lock the doors. Now John can come out. Well, USADA found out about that. And they wanted, they didn't do this. They wanted to get a warrant and go under that ring under the theory that at some point in that six to eight hour span, he would have had to pee. Well, they wanted to go under forensically and collect that urine. That's how upset they were that they had been had. They had boots on the ground in Albuquerque, fought, waiting for him to leave the club, waiting for to get him for anything.